pep talk time. And real quick, we got to talk about a couple things. For you juniors, guess what's coming up in a couple weeks? The ACT. So it's that time. It's that time that you show the world what you got. Real quick choices. Real quick choices. The freshmen's got the cert. The sophomores have got the cert. But the juniors has got the test. The ACT. They've been working on it. They've been the junior rotation. They've been doing everything. And guess what? You get to take it March the 12th and show the world what you've got. Number one in the state, number one in the country, they're going to name the ACT after you. So make sure you give everything you got March the 12th. Good evening, Bobcats. Although I won't be in school for this holiday, St. Patrick's Day will be on Sunday, March 17th. Be sure to wear your green and remember, never iron a four-leaf clover because you don't want to press your luck. Howdy, my name is Zach Bailey and I'm a pitcher. Hi, I'm Devin Newsom and I play shortstop. I'm Cameron Hughes and I play first base. Hey, I'm Wendell Stiltner and I'm an outfielder. Hi, my name is Brian Adams and I play third base. Hi, my name is Paul. I play left field. My name is Josh Hall. I play right field and pitch. My name is Chase Hamilton and I catch. I'm Hannah. And I'm Josh. And if you didn't know, it's softball and baseball season. Make sure you show up to practice with your physical and insurance and ask a player for practice times. And Coach Newsom wants everyone to know if you're not out by Friday, you will not be able to attend the team. Thank you. Senior basketball player Frank Tackett has recently broken a Betsy Lane High School record for having the most steals in a game. The previous record was eight steals. Frank almost doubled that record and had 14 steals against Pierre's along with 25 points on 11 out of 18 shooting and seven rebounds. Frank was also named Kentucky Player of the Week. Frank has also broken two records for track and one record for cross country. Frank holds four broken records for Betsy Lane High School. Congratulations, Frank. We are so proud of you. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind. I'm here with senior football player Jeremiah Keithley, who recently got a college scholarship to play football. Jeremiah, where are you going to college at? I plan on going to Kentucky Christian University. And how long do you plan on staying in college? I plan on staying there for the next four years. So what position are you going to play in college? I plan on playing defensive line. So, how long did you spend working on your craft in football? About six years. So, what are you going to do in college? I plan on majoring in sports management. Are you going to come back to Basin Lane and help coach? Uh, hopefully someday I will. And who pushed you the most to help you get where you are uh, today? Probably my teammates. Well, that was Jeremiah Keithley. This is Sports Talk. I'm Colin Hall, a special guest. Hannah Hall. It's baseball and softball season, and good luck to both teams. Uh, track has started up. If you want to be on the team, meet with Brashear and weightlifting. That's Mr. McCoy. And you need his physical and proof of insurance. Also, congrats on the cheerleaders for winning district. Hi, I'm Alan Mitchell. Here with STLP senior member Nate Mims. Nate, you were part of the STLP crew. They got to travel to Frankfurt. How was that experience? It was a really good experience for the younger kids that went with us more than it was for me because I'm you know, a senior. But I am glad that they got to go and see what it's like to present. Who all did you get the opportunity to speak with? Uh, we got to speak to a handful of the senators. We got to speak to the superintendent and the commissioner of education. And what kind of feedback did you all receive? Uh, they all seemed to really enjoy the pre presentation that we gave, especially the commissioner. He was really intrigued by all of us. Well, Nate, this has been a nice interview. Thank you. It's been good. Thank you.